What's going on, YouTube fam? Rockefeller back for another video, back like I never left. I hope you guys are doing well. Today, I'm going to give my insight regarding the LG G4 after spending a good amount of time testing its capabilities and shortcomings. Not this G4, this G4. My intentions were to get this review out days ago, but husband and daddy duty comes first. Plus, I'm not feeling well at the moment. <laughs> but let's just go ahead and get this out of the way, guys. The LG G4 stunned me right from the jump and it will be one of the top TVs to choose in 2024. Guys, if you could slap that like button and subscribe button, I greatly appreciate it as it helps the channel. Now let's get to the review. To start things off, I'm currently on software update 3.1.1 at the time of this review. This is the latest update that I have on the LG G4. And yes, unlike Samsung, LG does give you the option of choosing to update the TV. Samsung currently, on the other hand, will force your TV to update if you leave it connected to the internet. Thanks for giving us the option, LG. There are four OLED tier options from LG in 2024. The B series, C series, G series, and M series. The LG G4 alongside the LG M4 are LG's top of line OLED TVs for 2024, with the main difference between the two being the M4's ability to transmit its video and audio wirelessly from a separate box similar to Samsung's One Connect box. The LG G4 features LG's newest MLA 2.0 or microlens array tech to further boost brightness on their G-Series and M-Series TVs. LG have coupled that with new light boosting algorithms to further brighten up shadow detail as the G4 is claimed to be able to handle 3000 nits peak brightness. MLA is currently not available on LG's B or C series TVs and the brightness bump only applies to the 55 inch, 65 inch, 77 inch, and 83 inch G4 and M4 models. MLA is not on any 97 inch models for 2024. This is rock! I can't get jiggy with this and MLA is more of an image enhancement facilitator than anything else. Also new for 2024, LG is featuring their newest, most powerful to date processor, that is the A11 processor. The A11 chip uses precise pixel level image analysis to effectively sharpen objects and backgrounds that may appear blurry. And at its core, the new processor is designed to deliver the best picture possible by reducing noise and improving upscaling and color reproduction. It can also detect which objects on screen are in the foreground and background to create more depth. Usability looks to be exceptional with all four of the HDMI inputs being able to support 4K at 120Hz. There's also the option of a 144Hz mode for PC gaming to all four ports to combat stutter and blurring of on-screen action. The 144Hz G-Sync compliance is also available in LG C4 and M4 models with the exception of the 97 inch sizes. When it comes to the audio of the G4, there's virtual 11.1.2 channel audio upmix, as well as voice remastering from the 4.2 channel speaker system and 60 watt output. The LG G4 A11 processor uses AI techniques to isolate and enhance the dialogue in movies and TV content. The LG G4 can also leverage its WOW Orchestra feature, which is a technology that combines the audio drivers in both the soundbar and the connected LG TV to deliver an expanded sound stage similar to Samsung's Q-Symphony. This feature is designed to work specifically with LG TVs and soundbars that support the WOW Orchestra technology. Audio quality initially left a lot to be desired during my first listen, but after playing with some of the sound modes, the audio quality became much nicer and richer, although lacking what a nice surround sound system provides. If you want further info regarding LG's WOW Orchestra feature and how good it works with the LG G4, don't forget to subscribe guys as that content is coming soon. The build quality is exceptional in the LG G4 with this minimal metal looking bezel wrapped around the TV's frame. If you are looking for a very classy and elegant looking TV, then this TV is for you. This LG G4 TV that I'm enjoying in this video is the 55 inch version. The 55 inch and 65 inch models come with a stand and no wall mount. The back of the G4 can get a little warm towards the top portion in certain parts, but the bottom portion was cool to the touch. Now to the main part of what makes the LG G4 one of the top TVs of 2024, the picture. The G4 comes with support for Dolby Vision, HDR10, and HLG. There is no support for HDR10+. The picture quality on the G4 is absolutely amazing, guys, with fantastic brightness and astonishing detail making images appear three-dimensional at times. The HDR specular highlights were breathtaking while watching movies and various YouTube content, and at times, actual APL or average picture level brightness was actually brighter than my Samsung QN900B 8K mini LED that has been recently nerfed by Samsung with firmware 1622. I was able to spend some time watching movies 
and other content during the day and night. And let me say, guys, this LG G4 has the muscle to hang in a bright room, no problem. The LG G4's bright image made me think that I was looking at a mini LED at times due to its sheer brightness and not appearing them at all. Even with all the light coming through my blinds, the LG G4's OLED brightness is glorious. The more time I spent looking at the TV, I felt like I was actually looking through a window at content in real time due to the G4 panel appearing clean and blemish free and showing magnificent clarity. Also, if you happen to be watching the G4 from the side, the off angle viewing is just as great as being dead on center. The G4's colors were beautiful as well, with very deep realistic hues as the color volume was improved over last year's G3. And even though the G4 is immensely bright, I did not see any deficiencies in color output. I will say that comparing it side by side with my 8K Samsung QN900B, the colors on the G4 appear somewhat limited due to not having quantum dots. So QD OLEDs and other TVs with quantum dots will still have more color volume available than the G4. I was also able to play with some of the G4's picture modes, vivid, standard, cinema, sports, game optimizer, filmmaker, and the personalized picture wizard. The personalized picture wizard mode can be set based on image preferences that you select using AI deep learning technology, and it will create a picture profile that resembles the type of overall visuals that you would like to see. At times, it appeared that the A11 cleaned up 720p and 1080p content rather well, but other times, not so much. Maybe my expectations were already too high because the upscaling of low content didn't wow me while watching the G4. Halfway. Take a few steps back. It wasn't bad but it wasn't stellar either. It could be screen size related. Maybe the better upscaling is more noticeable on larger G4 sizes, but when it came to 4K content, that is where the TV truly shines. 4K HDR is an absolute treat. Eye candy of eye candies and your mind will be blown. The level of detail and clarity is astounding. I suggest you lay eyes on the G4's picture at your local electronic store before purchasing any other high-end TV for 2024. When it comes to motion, the LG G4 appears to have caught up to Sony's motion processing. Never have I seen a TV with motion as smooth as a G4s. The motion on this TV is Michael Jackson moonwalking smooth. Even without any motion settings turned on, it was buttery smooth. I played with various motion settings and did end up settling on natural. And let me tell you guys, this is ground zero for how smooth motion should be for TVs. Honestly, just wow, wow, wow. Gaming on the LG G4 is phenomenal. I plugged my Xbox Series X and PS5 up to the G4 and it recognized them immediately. All the display detail options were checked on the Xbox Series X and 4K 120BRR ALLM was good to go on the PS5 as well. I don't have a PC currently to test the 144Hz gaming, but from further research, it appears that 144Hz PC gaming is available and working swimmingly. LG's Game Bar lets you check to see how your game is running and performing with the included FPS, VR, and low latency latency info. Also, the G4 presents the option of toggling on and off G-Sync and AMD FreeSync Premium. I didn't notice any screen tearing or smearing, and gaming on the G4 is just downright awesome. Also, input lag seemed virtually non-existent. As many of you already know, I have an LG CX from 2020. That TV is still fantastic, although it has an overall darker picture compared to the G4. I have noticed a good bit of pixel degradation in the panel in the last almost four years. <laughs> which makes me wonder how this G4 panel will hold up being so bright. The good news is that LG does offer an included five-year panel warranty on the G4 as well as the M4. Guys, let's take a look at my comparison of my LG CX and the LG G4. Also guys, here's another video comparing my QN900B to the LG G4 as well.
improvements that I hope LG brings to future G series and even M series TVs in the future would be bezel-less design, a more premium feeling backlit remote, a stronger processor to truly upscale 720p and 1080p to make them truly look like 4K, changing the location of all the ports to one side on the back of the G4, more brightness in the average picture level, and solving the problem so many people take issue with, burn-in, and the rate of pixel degradation. Guys, for my time spent with the LG G4, it is truly an amazing TV with all the bells and whistles one could possibly want in a TV. The overall package of brightness, clarity, detail and depth in images, gaming features and excellent motion make this machine ready to go head to head with the best of the best. If Sony's A95L is the Michael Jordan of OLED TVs, then the LG G4 is the Kobe Bryant. Guys, let me know in the comments what you think of the LG G4's capabilities. Do you plan on buying one? Do you think it warrants an upgrade from older OLEDs of the past? If you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing guys as it helps out the channel. I hope all of you guys continue to do well this year and stay safe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. P.O.P. All the time.